Okay, so we're going to practice using Simulink to do a simple differential equation, and so we're just going to do a capacitor charging. So if I look right here, uh, we're going to calculate the charging of our super cap. So you see we have a 25 farad capacitor charged to 5 volts with a 10 ohm resistor. And so here is our basic circuit. It is going to be a 5 volt source, a switch, a resistor, and a capacitor. Now we're going to use Simulink and uh, so what we're going to do is the first thing that we have to do is we have to convert this circuit over into the Laplace domain. Uh, so the source is just going to become a step source that is and then we're going to have a resistor of value R and then a capacitor. So the resistor just goes to R, this goes to 1 over SC, and then this one is just a step voltage. So we're trying to get the voltage across here, which we're going to call V out. And so what we see here is that V out is going to be equal to 1 over SC over 1 over SC plus R, which is just basically a voltage divider, times my V in. So we can simplify this down, and then we have V out is equal to 1 over 1 plus SRC times V in. So what we see here is we're going to break these up into blocks. And so now we see that V out is going to be equal to my transfer function, H of S times my input, so V in. And so what we see here is that my H of S is just going to be this transfer function. So the H of S is equal to 1 over 1 plus, and then our R was 10 and our C was 25, so this is S times 250. So now if I come over here to MATLAB, right here is the Simulink. So I click this button here, here's Simulink, here is my blank module, so I'm just going to start with that right there. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I can go through here to search for the libraries, but if you just know what the names are, you can just start typing. So I click right here, and I am going to type for a step response. So I start typing step, oh, there's my step. If I double click on it, this is the start time when it transitions from the initial value of 0 up to the final value of 1. Now, we don't want it to go from 1. We don't want it to go to 0 to 1. We want it to go from 0 to 5. So I could have just changed that in there, but just to practice, I'm going to do a gain module. So the gain module is just going to take the input here and multiply it times the value. So we're just going to multiply that times 5 plug it right here. If I put my mouse right here, I can wire that over. Now I want to do my transfer function, so I start typing transfer. There it is. Line it up. And so you see we want a 1 plus S250. So we are going to go 1 and 250 and hit OK. You see that's S plus 250. We want 1 plus S times 250. So you see, if I just change the order of these, it works out. And if you grab this, make it a little bit bigger, so there's our 1 plus S250. You can come down here, and you can change the name of it. Let's call it our voltage divider. And then you can wire this over. Now we want to be able to display something, so I'm going to type a going to get a scope. So I just grab a scope. <laughs> there it is. Okay, wire it all up. Now up here you can see this is the length of time that it's going to be doing. So it's going to be doing 10 seconds and this is my run. So I'm just going to hit run right here. Let it start calculating. You can see that it's... And then if I double click on this scope 
it pulls up the scope right here. And we're going from 0 to 10 seconds. You see this is where it turns on at 1 second. And then it starts going up. We aren't very far, so we need to go a lot longer. So I come over here and change this to 1,000 seconds and hit Run. And now you see if I kind of zoom in here, you see it starts going up at 1 second. And then if I zoom all the way up, you see then it's going to be charging all the way up here. Now I want to actually measure how long it takes it to get to 4.5. So I'm going to come up here to Tools. Uh, I'm going to do Measurements, Cursor Measurements. Okay, so now I can make this a little bigger, easier to see. And I'm just going to take this number 2. And you see I'm watching, right? Okay, I'm watching right here on my second one, and I want this to be 4.5. Oh. Let's try this again. Oh, there we turn that off. Okay, so now I'm just going to slide this until I get to 4.5. And you see it's about 575 seconds, so I've calculated my first uh, Simulink design.